We have this like really crappy relationship for three months over the summer and then we start back to school and he breaks up with me in a text message the night of my very first volleyball game. Now this comes a week after he had brought up how his cousin was doing shit with her boyfriend that was adult shit and asked me how I felt about it and I was like never had a boyfriend before so like clearly I'm waiting till marriage and he said oh oh me too me too. So that was a f***ing lie. Then we're broken up and I'm talking to my friend and she's like oh you were dating him this summer? And I'm like, yeah, why? She's like, oh no, he was trying to date my best friend. The, all summer, she just kept telling him no. So all these girls think they are dating while the guys is just trying to bang. I'm pretty sure a big percentage of girls think they are in a relationship while the guys think they are in a relationship while the guys think they are in a friends with benefits situation about how I was just casually walking on the street to the bodega in Bushwick earlier today and I was grossly catcalled by a four-year-old freaking predator dressed like this. Okay, let's examine the outfit piece by piece. So to start, we have extra long biker shorts. Hey yo, what the f They show off nothing. Actually, all of my assets are totally hidden and all you can really see are two stick legs poking out like freaking twigs. That's it. That's all you get. <clears throat> Moving on up, we have an oversized kids t-shirt that is tie-dye with pastel Easter colors and is showing off Snoopy and Tweety Bird. Again, <laughs> no humps, no lumps, just an oversized look. And the cherry on top is my super flirty, life is salty, siesta key freaking family wholesome spring break energy cap that is covering pretty much my whole face. And so what I want to know is what about this outfit, what about this sexy little outfit screams, I'm ready for coitus and I want to be touched by a strange man on the street because me being dressed like this had him saying, damn, looking fine, honey. Dressed like a 14-year-old. So were you catcalled or were you touched on the street? Let's get our fake story straight before we turn on the camera. And just because you're mentally 14 doesn't mean you're physically 14 years old. People can actually see your face and tell you're in your 30s. Doesn't matter what quirky outfit you're wearing. Oh my God, I'm literally shaking right now because of how mad this made me. So I was going back to put my bar pad back at the front desk and this guy would not stop staring at me. And he was at the incline of the bench. So he literally, you know, but he wouldn't look at me. So then I went to go put up my bar pad and he literally would not stop staring at me. So I told him, I said, do you have a problem? Completely ignored me. Wasn't wearing headphones, nothing. So then I brushed it off. I'm like, I'm going to go do my step ups in the other gym where he's not. So then I go over there and there's this other guy doing cardio on the ground and he would not stop staring at me too. And I was like, I'm so over this. And then I was finishing up my set and he gets up about six inches from my butt, literally did a whole 180 around me. And I was like, obviously above him. So he looked all, the, all up. So he looked all up my shirt and literally all the other girls in the room saw that. And I yelled at him. Like I said, do you have a, do you have a problem? Didn't even look at me. And all the other girls were like, I'm so sorry that happened to you. Like, that's so messed up. And I was like, so it's not just in my head. Then the whole gym clapped. You know, I like the gym videos better than just the gym stories. You can look at her tight outfit while she works out and explains how she got falsely harassed. These gym heifers need to step up their game. This guy last year, right? I cut him off because he was being real inconsistent. And I'm not the type of girl that will take inconsistency. So, yeah. I was really bored one night, so I was like, let me go on my block list and unblock some numbers. His number was um one of the numbers, right? I said, I'm blocking all the numbers in my phone, and this number was one of them. Who is this? He texted me, he was like, dang, I'm blocked. Wow, but this is this is Jay. Long story short, we started talking again. He was all like, dang, this must be fate. Um, I get a second chance. I didn't know you blocked me. Like, I wanna I wanna take you serious, right? Keep that in mind. Fast forward, it is like I would say a good month in, and he's he's kind of consistent. He changed his ways a little bit, just a little bit. I guess he really started to fall for me because these were the voice notes that I would be getting from him. All right, you know, just, I'm just, you know, I don't know, like, I like you, and I'm just, just trying to, you know, make it work, and just trying to, you know, do the right things as a man, you know, just, I think you're, you, you deserve a lot of, like, good, and I'm just trying to be that good, if that makes sense. 
That was so cringe. I had to stop it. Homeboy left like 10 voice messages. Don't be like that guy. What's he talking about? Just go for the close or stop talking. Now he's on TikTok looking goofy. Also, do you guys leave voice messages? I feel like she'll just show all her friends and call you thirsty. Pleasure is your best friend because it teaches you what you like, how you like it, how to replicate it, and how to ask for what you want. Because when you know what you like, then it's easier to communicate it. I also really love rubbing one out before going on a date. Nasty bitch.